Ain't nobody got time to be walking around oily after you apply your moisturizer. You know what I mean? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to go ahead and click that subscribe button. All right, so today's topic is really exciting. I get so many questions on my skin and what I do to keep my skin looking nice. We're gonna get down to business and talk about these awesome products that I use. For starters, I have dry, sensitive skin. Now, depending on the season, it can also be combination, and I basically get oily right here in my forehead, which sucks because it's also where I break out and get tons of little bumps. Also, I do want to note that I don't have any makeup here because I wanted to show you guys exactly how my skin looks. All I have are my brows that are done, and that's it. No makeup, no foundation, no concealer, nada. Okay, so first, at night, I like to use these. Those are makeup wipes, and they are from Burt's Bees. They um, just pretty quickly, you know, get off the majority of my makeup if I'm wearing full face, you know, um, that's a lot of makeup. And I definitely want to make sure that I go to bed without anything on. I don't, you know, think that there's anything like super amazing about them. I just like the conveniency of using makeup wipes because I can travel with them. I can take them to the, you know, gym if I'm working out in the evenings and I happen to have any sort of makeup on. They're really great and they smell really nice and they don't irritate my skin. One of my new-ish, and I kind of mean like in the last three to four months, um, favorite that I found is this bad boy right here. This is the Alba Botanics D Detox Foaming Cleanser for Sensitive Skin. Now, um, I love to shop at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or like any discount store, and I've been noticing that lately they've been carrying a lot of Alba Botanics products, and I love that because it's such a wonderful brand for people with sensitive skin, if you're like me. Now, I will say that um, I do have a lot of Alba Botanics products that I'm gonna talk to you guys about, and it's not a sponsored video whatsoever. I just really love their brand, and I know that I can always expect the same thing and then I'm you know basically gonna have nice clear looking skin that's gonna benefit me. This cleanser is really good for removing dirt and makeup at the end of the night. It also contains AHA, rice, green tea, all products that are designed to improve your skin and it you know cleanses my skin without leaving it like dry afterwards which I just hate that feeling. Next up is this little guy right here. Now this is my um, facial brush. You can just detach this little part right here. Um, I got this at TJ Maxx, super cheap, like 10 bucks, and it does the job. It does have two AA batteries right here. Um, when you turn it around here, it's got a low and a high setting. And I like to use this on the high setting because what I use this for is to remove makeup with the Alba Botanics cleanser that I showed you guys. So um, I use this at night. I don't use it in the morning at all. Um, and it just does the job. You know, I'm not really a Clarisonics fan. I just like, I don't want to shell out the money um, for something like that. And I've also heard that people that have sensitive skin have, you know, experienced negative effects. So I just want something that's a little bit gentler. And this is awesome. Really helps me remove makeup on my face, on my neck, if I have any foundation down there. Perfect. Next up, I've got the Aloe Botanics again, uh, their facial mask. This is the Deep Sea Facial Mask. And I've been a ride or die of this particular line, their even advanced line for a long time. I used to use their facial scrub, but basically this is a Kaolin clay mask. Now it's designed to even your skin tone, draw out impurities and firm your skin. And it has never broken me out. I love to use this around that time of the month, if you know what I mean. And it's awesome. Like I will just apply it to spot areas on my forehead. Where you typically apply bronzer is where I used to break out. And I would apply it there as well. And um, it's awesome. Like. If you have really bad skin, you can even use it every other day, but I'll use that around that time of the month or just once a week. Anytime I notice that my skin is just not looking like on point. Next, ooh, this is my favorite product right here. This is Rose Hydrosol Spray. 
Now, um, I basically discovered this around the summer of 2015. What I love about this is, um, if you don't know what rose hydrosol is, basically it's um, a liquid where you use steam distillation and basically they'll use rose water or rose petals and they'll steam distill it so to purify it. And one of the byproducts of that is hydrosol. Now this contains um, a lot of the rose oils and my favorite one to use is Bulgarian rose hydrosol and it just basically smells like so beautiful. Now when you do spritz this on your skin, I like to apply it um, after I've cleansed it and before my moisturizer or any serum goes on my face. And after I spray it, I just pat my face dry. Or not dry, just kind of like, you know, pat it in, just like get it in there. And what this does is it basically um, can uh, even your skin pH so it'll balance it so if you're oily it'll you know just kind of balance it you do need to use the spray continuously like once a day twice a day to actually see legit results rose hydrosol is great for reducing fine lines moisturizing your skin it is also a natural astringent so it will um, gently just kind of like clear up any acne if you have acne whatsoever you know if Anything that you guys want to buy out of all these products I talk about, this Rose Hydrosol is like the best. Everything will be listed down below in the description box, so don't forget to check it out. I'll have some great links for you guys if you're interested in purchasing any of these products. The next one is the Katadu, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, <laughs> Vitamin C Serum. It looks just like this. I also got this at, uh, let's see, TJ Maxx, and I even have the price tag on so I can tell you how much it costs. It was $12.99. Now, it comes in this cool little dropper, just like so, and um, it's a cloudy kind of a serum but what I like to do is I mix three to four drops in my moisturizer whatever one I'm using I use this day and night and what this vitamin serum does is it repairs and restores your skin at the cellular level so if you're somebody that's looking to just kind of brighten your skin a little bit if you have hyperpigmentation or um, if you just are noticing some fine lines this will be a really great gentle way to use this now, um, it does have hyaluric acid as well, which is also great for anti-aging stuff. Um, I'm a big proponent of basically maintaining your skin so that it doesn't get to that point where it's like super damaged and then you gotta like try and just fix stuff. You know what I mean? So it also has rosemary, which is a natural antiseptic and it keeps oily complexions clear. So if you do have oily skin, then this will be great for you as well. Okay, so next up is my final Alba Botanics products. I know you guys are like killing me, you're like Alba again, but this is how much I love it. Like I just, I can't get enough of this line. So um, this is their Hawaiian Moisture Cream. Now, oh, when I open it up, it just smells like jasmine. I think I've talked about this before actually. Um, I think I've had it since the summer and it's now January and it's lasted me this long. This is really moisturizing. It doesn't irritate my sensitive skin. I don't get oily from it. It seems like it in certain places it'll just like absorb really quickly, um, which is wonderful because ain't nobody got time to be walking around oily after you apply your moisturizer. You know what I mean? Another thing that I like is that the packaging makes it really easy to take around with you in your gym bag, in your travel bag, in your purse, um, if you ever just want to reapply it or are washing your face anywhere away from home. So it's really handy. And last but not least, I've got Argan Oil. Now I've talked a lot about um, basically using anti-aging products. And if you don't know, Argan Oil is really great natural um, oil, face oil or hair oil for anti-aging properties. It's super, super moisturizing. Now what I love is when I open this, it comes in a little droplet thing as well. And I basically use this Argan facial oil at night because it does make my skin look oily. So if I were to wear it around during the day, it would just look oily. And I love to do it at night so that way, you know, 
my skin can just soak it in while I'm sleeping. I'm a big fan of multitasking, so sleep and moisturize, fabulous. <laughs> okay, so that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. Um, stay tuned, I do have some bloopers from this video if you guys are into that sort of thing. And don't forget to subscribe again, and I will see you guys in the next one. Just like get it in there. So today's topic is really excited. Blah, blah, blah. I don't rub it in whatsoever.